Yorkers for immigration control and install and enforcement. This is chapter two of our video series of illegal aliens invading New York City. Chapter one was Hispanic illegals in Jackson Heights. Chapter two today is primarily Chinese and Korean illegals in my hometown of Flushing Main Street. Now, I am absolutely certain that the Chinese and Korean people living in Flushing who went through the procedure of coming here legally are harboring a great resentment against the free, the free loaders who are crowding their schools, taking their benefits, clogging their streets, and getting away with it because of the policies of our lawless president, Barack Obama. Now, I feel that in New York City as a whole, among legal immigrants and native New Yorkers, there is a huge wellspring of fury against the handful of progressives who think they can dictate to us what our policy should be about enforcing our borders. I believe that these progressives, of whom Barack Obama is number one, do not really want us to have a country at all. You can't have a country without a border. They do not want us to have a border. They do not want us to have sovereignty. Before coming here today, I saw one of the many outrageous articles on Barack Obama. This one took my breath away. It likens his forthcoming amnesty announcement to Abraham Lincoln's Emancipation Proclamation. I had to read that one twice to make sure I was reading it correctly. I think the first difference that came to mind was Abraham Lincoln was our greatest president. Barack Obama is far and away our worst president. So that's number one. Number two, I don't think Abraham Lincoln went on a vacation for two weeks prior to issuing the Emancipation Proclamation. I'm not really criticizing Obama for that as far as I'm concerned. He can stay on vacation for the rest of his life. My hope is that Obama, as he has in the past, talks big but does little. Everyone is waiting, the progressives at least, for him to act bold, in quotes, on the illegal uh, alien problem. The expectation is that he will grant work permits to up to five million illegal aliens. I am praying that he will realize or be too cowardly to do it, but will possibly realize that this runs a great chance of costing the Democrats the U.S. Senate in November of the popular backlash as people wake up and realize that this is a person whose agenda doesn't seem to include anything that's in the interest of America. I've seen the Manchurian candidate. I don't know if he is truly the Manchurian candidate, but I would say that Barack Obama could not have done a better job at it if he really was that. So to finish up, that's today in Flushing. Thank you.